guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while, but I'm back. And today I'm going to do a review of my LV Speedy 30, which is this bag right here. And this is in the Demi Abine print. Sorry that it's all squished looking, guys, but yeah. So this bag I've had uh, for eight years now. So I feel like I can give you guys a good indication of like the wear and tear. And yeah, I got it on my 20th birthday from my mom. So if you guys are thinking of getting the bag, I definitely recommend you to get a little organizer for it like this. Um, because this bag, it tends to, when you put stuff in here, it tends to just droop because it doesn't really have any like structure to it. It will droop like this when you're carrying it. So having an organizer inside like this will not only make it easier for you to find your stuff in here, which is a bottomless pit, you guys. This is just one compartment right here. So you really have to dig for your stuff. Other than that, there's just one tiny pocket over here, um, which is barely big enough to fit your phone. So I'll show you guys when I stuff this in here. It makes it a lot easier to find your stuff. Not only that, it kind of plumps the bag up a little bit and it makes it um, a lot better looking too, in my opinion. I don't like it to be droopy. I kind of like it having more structure like this. So yeah, so this one, um, right now, I just checked the LV website. The dimensions are 30 across, 21 in height, and 17 in width. And this is all in centimeters, because I'm Canadian. So um, it's 1370 right now Canadian dollar um, and when my mom bought it it was only seven around 700 with tax so it's almost doubled in price which is pretty crazy but um, seem as it is a very classic bag I'm not surprised um, but yeah it's it's a really good bag um, only thing I gotta say is I do wish I went for the speedy 25 this is a speedy 30 and I am five foot three um, t it looks a little big on my frame um, I had a co-worker of mine and we um, she had a speedy 25 blue delier the one with the strap and we traded bags for a few months because I liked hers and she liked mine. Hers was in the also in the Demi Bean print. Um, but yeah, I felt like the Speedy 25, it looked better for my size. And um, my coworker, she was quite a lot taller than me, so it, the Speedy 30 looked good for her. But, uh, but I don't want to spend, like, now it's what... The one with the, the strap is now probably like almost 2000 I really don't want to spend that much money to get a new one. But if I could go back, um, I don't think that one was available back then, eight years ago. I think it came out a year or two after I got it. But if I could, I would totally get the Speedy 25 with the strap. Because um, carrying this in the crook of your arm really starts to get tiring after a while and heavy. So, um, let me see if I can stand up. My setup is a little weird. But, this is what it looks like on me, and I'm five foot three. So, yeah. Overall, I would say um, the wear and tear, it looks still pretty good for eight years. Um, if you do look closely, though, the hardware has changed. Like, it's gotten scratched up a little bit. If you look close. And there's a little bit of wear and tear on the corners. Like I see some color transfer right here. A little bit of red, I don't know where the heck that came from. But yeah. And my, um, my little block here is a little bit tarnished as well. It's gotten darker in color. This one was made in the USA, actually. So 
yeah, this was my very first designer bag and I was so excited um, when I got it for my birthday and I'm still really excited about it. I, I'm still very much in love with my Speedy 30. This is one bag that I will never get rid of. I think it's such a classic and um, yeah, I tend to gravitate towards more classic looking bags. Um, I do have some more like trendy ones. I would say my Alexander Wang Rocky, that's definitely a more trendy bag, but I feel like after a year or two, it tends to not be as um, in style anymore. Whereas this, if I'm lucky and I keep it in good shape, I could probably even pass this on to my daughter one day and I'll still be, you know, like a great bag to have. So yeah, that's it for my review guys. Oh yeah. Um, I would say in comparison to the monogram for LV, I definitely love the Demi at B more because I love the red canvas. I know now you can buy it in so many different colors, but um, it originally comes in the red canvas inside. Um, I love that. I think it goes really well together. I love that the leather doesn't um, churn colors like the Vaquetta leather does on the um, monogram and I think it just wears better over time so great that's it for my video guys um, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions and if you enjoyed my videos please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye